Greetings and welcome. This is Sherry from Spiritual Magic Journey and this is your monthly tarot card reading predictions for our lovely Pisces for the month of March. So for this month, guys, I am using the Angel Tarot, uh, Magical Manifest, Magical Dimensions, sorry, <laughs> and the Postcards from Spirit to round it off. I want to say for those Pisces that are having a birthday this month, happy birthday. Um, let me quickly say before we start, um, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. It really means a lot. Really appreciate it. But we're just going to dive right on in here to this reading and see what's going on with our lovely Pisces. I'm going to ring the bell. Asking my spirit team to step forward. And assist me with this reading also I want to say guys I hope you're having a beautiful wonderful and blessed blessed month for the uh, month of March and happy St. Patty's Day Patrick's Day and let's see what's going on with Pisces because what does Pisces need to know and hear for the month of March these are I struggle with this deck. <laughs> Just shuffling it. Let me shuffle it again. I'm getting like s similar cards coming up with a lot of the signs. It's like these transformations and uh, deep uh, epiphanies about ourselves. Uh, becoming more aware showing up a lot so let's see what's going on with Pisces let's, what's going on with Pisces this month <clears throat> we got the four water we got the wheel with the Archangel Michael the Archangel Azrael too but release okay so with the four water, it says a uh, missing opportunity, discontentment, or boredom up in your eyes to see the possibilities. And this is like something you're not happy with. When I see this four of water, it's just uh, telling me something that you're not happy with. But there's still cups up right, you know, in the original tarot. There's still something there. It's like someone there is helping you. But you're like, uh... You know this didn't happen or I missed this opportunity or something didn't happen and it's just got you like saying F it almost but you've got the wheel here with Archangel Michael it's a time of positive change so on the flip side of that coming out of that situation you're going into a positive one it's a, a, a situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side but You've also got a release here with Archangel Azrael. This is the end of the phase of a situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So you've got this, these endings and you've got a new beginning here. It's like a positive change. Anytime it, uh, something ends, there's a new beginning that's awaiting there. And that's where the positivity comes in. And it's good. You want to release all things that are no longer serving you. Whether they are relationships. Whether they are bad habits. Whether you are just moving. You know, you want to release. And you want to remove this. And you're doing this this month, Pisces. You're just a clinging house. So you've got the fortune on your side. Under the floor of war, you're discontent. You got the guardian, so it's shielding, defense, and warning. Um, and this is all about. Um, I feel like your team is there surrounding you as you're going through this um, discontentment uh, with yourself, or boredom with your life, or missing something <clears throat> that you feel like you should have been in on or have gotten. You've got almost like your 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 team there that are helping you and telling you to snap out of it is what they're what they're giving me it's almost like a snap out of it type of situation because there is a time um a positive change is going to come in and it's going to pick you up 
it's going to pick you up. You've got complementation, um, so you may want to go out and do some grounding, gather your thoughts on whatever is going on here. This is annoying, releasing, um, not trying to control everything that's going on in your life. And we try to do that. We try to control it all, and that's not how it works. That's not how spirit works. It's like, I want this, and I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that commercial with J.G. Wentworth? I want my money and I want it now. <laughs> it's like you're scream, screaming that to the universe. But you can, everything is in divine time. So, But there is a positive change. Luck is on your side. I'm not going to tell you what to do to run out. So it could be a positive situation that's coming in with something that had been stalled or stuck. I'm not going to say run out and buy a lottery ticket. I'm not going to tell you to do that. I'm just saying something positive is coming into your life. After you're releasing this with Archangel Azrael, and you may want to work with Archangel Michael and Archangel Azrael, these two beautiful angels, Archangel Michael can bring in the protection and the shielding and cutting away and releasing all things that are no longer needed. Again, with this release, whether it's could be at the end of a phase or situation in the this or personal relationship or um, a job or moving or something like that something major is happening in your life where you're releasing and letting go and you're moving on which creates a new beginning for you under that you've got a breakthrough again a leap of faith freedom a new beginning did I not just say that I hadn't even read that so there's a big breakthrough that's coming in so pay attention guys and you know when sometimes you're on top of the wheel and sometimes you're on the bottom of the wheel so the wheel of energy and cycles are always um, turning you know, we go through these cycles. Sometimes we're on top. Sometimes we're on the bottom. We're going through challenges and situations that are happening in our lives. And we get through them. Um, but you got a breakthrough here that's coming in a new beginning for you. So don't get yourself so bogged down with the four of water of whatever's happening in your life. And please, they're saying, if the relationship isn't working, let it go. Let it go. Don't try to hang on to something that's not working in your life. And that's including bad habits. Um, whatever it is you want to change. Release and let it go. You know, we're going into the spring equinox. We're going into the spring. So do some spring cleaning. And I feel like that's what you're going to be doing this month. And call in um, your angels and guides there. They're there to assist you. And when you're going through difficult times, when you're going through happy times, communicate with these beings and know that this is a breakthrough and a, uh, at hand for you. So, postcards from spirit. Let's see what it says. It says, Dear you, there is a balance between activity and rest, ebb and flow. You can't have one without the other. If you're faced with an obstacle right now, the best course is to surrender and non-resistance. Soon enough, you'll see how easy it is to flow around it. No is one of the times. Now is one of those times when you must trust the river of your life. Go with the flow, and in no time you'll reach what you have your heart and hopes set on. Just remember, spirit will keep your head above water and will direct the currents when it is time for a greater effort. You'll know exactly when you need to work on those manifesting muscles. It can be challenging to master the flow of cycles in your life, but as you develop your skills, affluence will be yours. Enjoy the flow and trust those currents, for we are right there with you with our little umbrella drinks smiling at your success so loving you so very much absolutely ties in with this reading letting go sometimes we're on the top sometimes we're on the bottom so guys i hope this helps you in your journey through life blessings my friends and namaste